Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Hello there, Totemites, and welcome to our humble channel. It has been a while since we covered video games, and if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, today's video game news doesn't fall too far from the tree. But the news itself was too big to ignore. The Last of Us Part 2 was announced at Sony's PlayStation Experience 2016, and I had a couple of thoughts I wanted to share with you. At the end of the first game, Joel basically lied to Ellie. Joel said that there was nothing that the Fireflies could do to parse a cure from Ellie's biology, but in reality, he killed the doctors and ran from the hospital while she was unconscious. The doctors would have had to kill Ellie in order to extract the cure. And Joel sees Ellie as the daughter he lost at the beginning of The Last of Us, and he really just can't live without her. Now, this brings us to the theory of what will happen in the second game. And to help us, we can confirm two things from this new trailer. Some time has passed, that is certain, and it appears to be a few years. Ellie appears to have gained some independence, as usually comes with age, but most importantly, Joel has still not told Ellie about his big lie at the end of the first game. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. And with that said, there are two big questions that, in my mind, will be answered in the second iteration. The first of these is, what will Joel do to keep his lie under wraps? We already know this is a long-standing lie. It's been a few years. But I think the trailer already gives us a big glimpse into that truth. It paints a picture in blood. Obviously, they're in a Firefly encampment, although most of the actual Fireflies here are dead or dying. Joel has either blamed the Fireflies for what happened at the end of the first game, or the Fireflies have tried to come after Ellie and Joel. There's no way of knowing, but we can gather that Ellie wants to actively seek out the Fireflies and kill them. That is certain. And I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. The second question is what Ellie will do when she finds out Joel's been lying to her for what amounts to years at this point. There's absolutely no way for us to speculate or guess here, but it is a question that needs to be asked, and it's certainly something that will be interesting to talk about in the next few months. But let's think about it. Could Ellie actually kill Joel when she finds out that he's been lying to her? Further, will the two turn on each other for an entirely different Last of Us title? This has been a game that's about fungally infested people, zombies if you will, but this could certainly turn itself into an entirely different experience where it's more more about the human-to-human -human interaction. Naughty Dog was worried that there's not a story worth telling, but an extension of the final few seconds of the first game has all the makings of a Game of the Year contender. And if the new trailer is any indicator, we're in for an even darker version of the franchise, if that was at all possible to begin with. One thing's for sure though, things are gonna get heavy. If we're talking about things that are definitely true, we also need to talk about the fact that Naughty Dog is just an amazing developer. We do not deserve those amazing people. But subscribe, like, and all that jazz if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. The Last of Us is perhaps my favorite game of all time, and to see a continuation of that is a little bittersweet. I think the open-endedness of the first game's ending is awesome, but I'm also very excited to jump into a whole nother experience with these characters and to see all this game world that Naughty Dog has created for a second time. I want you to go to the comment section below, though, and tell me what you think. Let me know, but until you do, I'm Jacob Saylor for Chosen Totem, signing off.